Intro. Dee Dee, Piggy, Runt, and Little Boy lay asleep with their furry tummies facing the sky. It was warm outside, but a little cooler in the shade beneath their bush. Middle Mama would be back soon. Little Boy dreamed of the meal she would bring. Runt twitched and kicked a bit, prancing away from her potential prey in her dream. Piggy breathed deep and trembled in her mostly untroubled sleep. Dee Dee's mouth was open and her little kitty tongue peeped out. Little boy lay flat on his side, his chubby tummy slowly rising and falling. Part 1 Big Mama was a meanie cat, a tortie with a scowl face and a growl to greet you. Middle Mama was her daughter, from her first litter. A single, actually. Middle Mama was just the opposite. The sweetest and loyal and would stay with you, though her home was outside. When Middle Mama was a baby, Big Mama would never let people near to touch her. When Mill Mama was big enough to fend for herself, some humans were able to pet her. She was sleek and black, and the only torty print was on her face. Middle Mama made friends with a girl in an apartment nearby. For the longest she tried to pet her, only to be met with Big Mama's hisses. Finally, Middle Mama was grown, and she allowed her silky body to be petted. The girl was so happy, she let her inside for a little bit. Every now and then she gave Middle Mama some of the cream left over from her coffee. Her long tongue would lap at the straw and almost wrap all the way around it. Big Mama had another litter some months later, and they were all black, except with one with a beautiful torty mark that the girl called Painted Face. The other three kittens were sweet enough, and the girl tried to coax them inside by leaving food outside the apartment door. Two of the black kittens let themselves be petted, but there was one who just ignored the girl. She would talk sweetly and kindly, but he always just stayed out of reach. Lounging under a table against a chair leg, he stared nonchalantly if the girl did her best to make friends with him. Maybe once or twice, she rubbed his lovely head with no objection. In the meantime, Middle Mama was as loyal as ever, going on long walks outside the apartment with the girl. It was amazing that being astray, she stuck with her, trotting right alongside as if a born companion and protector. When the girl stopped, she stopped, meowing her contentment. They walked all the way to Himbrell Road, very close to the hospital. It was maybe half a mile. 